Okay, we're going to do a real quick video demo on how to disable the data validation in your exports from Advanced Find in Excel uh, after it, uh, exporting from Dynamics 365 CRM. Uh, so what we're looking at here is um, a list of accounts. We're just going to go ahead and export them to Excel. There it is. Open. And here you see we have data validation, which does serve a purpose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enable editing. Uh, it does prevent you from putting in bad data. So if I put in number of employees as minus five, I'm going to get an error. If I try and put in number of employees of 100 billion, that's also going to give you an error. Uh, you can see the maximum and minimum values here. Um, so to show you like how this can be annoying though after a while, I'm gonna wanna populate the industry. So I'm just gonna go through here and pick a couple of industries, and you see the pop-up, the input message reminder, just kind of gets in the way here right there it's in the way so I have to actually do two clicks right to, to move that thing out of the way because I can't it also doesn't scroll so I can't click where I want to click without that thing getting in the way um, so it gets in the way some other times like if you're scrolling down through here um, just gets in the way. I don't like it. So, um, but I'm going to do a test. I'm going to actually turn it off and see if I can still import the data. So here you see I populated a bunch of industries. And this should just import right back into CRM super easily. Okay, so... If it works, it'll be obvious that it worked. So I'm going to hit the Save button. So it's saved. Modified 3.09 p.m. In order to do my test. I want to turn the data validation off and see if we can still do the import. So this is how you turn this data validation, this annoying data validation thing off. So it's apparently don't matter. All right, so I just click here, highlight the whole cell, and then say data. Click right there, data validation. This selection contains more than one type of validation. Erase current settings and continue. I would say okay because I want to get rid of the data validation. And then I just click on clear all. Okay. And it's gone. So all that kind of... There's, there's another one here. I'm not going to address that one today, but this one can also be annoying sometimes. I think you can convert to number, ignore error. Okay. Um, so that's the zip code with the leading zero. You don't want to you don't want to convert it to a number. All right. So so now the test is to see if we can import this one. So this is the one from 3:14 p.m. So I'm going to save it. Go back to accounts. Just click on the button to import it. Choose the file, uh, this one, OK, next, and finish the import, done. OK, you can monitor it right here. So it worked, even though we turned the data validation off. So the data validation is really just kind of a helper, but it's not really necessary. 
Um, you can turn it off, but you do need to keep these and be aware of these fields over here. This is what's used for the reimport. Obviously, the most important one being the GUID, but <laughs> it's not going to work if you don't have these. I mean, the simple way of importing back the way I just did, uh, it's not the old CRM import. It's basically you export an Excel spreadsheet. You can do all the editing you want, and I can I probably edit a lot faster now. So without that, oh, and actually I can't because um, the pop-up, the click, the pick list isn't here anymore. Um, but if I um, if there was other things I wanted to edit that was just text. I think if I wanted to come down here and edit the things like this, save it again. And I, I think that would just be a little bit quicker. Depends on what you want to do. But if you want to use the pick list, you need to leave the data validation in place. But sometimes you're just wanting to get that data out of CRM and do your own thing with it. And the, um, the data validation becomes a problem. So... That's why we show you how to turn it off.